So I'll get up at 5 and then I'll leave around like 5.40 and walk from the courtyards to the cook. And we did like a little round robin almost of different physical exercises like kettlebell swings, planks, um, hand release push-ups, uh, running, just a lot of stuff that you would see on the ACFT. The Army Combat Fitness Test and I'm, there are six events and each of them are scored out of 100. And so however well you do on each event determines your score. And at the end of like your ACFT, you'll get a, a score for the whole test. And that kind of determines like where you're at physically. After PT, I usually would go to the locker room and just kind of like get changed, kind of do like some hygiene stuff before my class. I would put on my OCPs because on Thursdays we have lab and we're usually expected to wear our uniform to class and to lab. So we just wear it around camps all day. I went to my 101 class with my instructor, uh, Miss Erin Noga. And um, usually that class is just a lot of like basics, like rank structure, customs and courtesies when it comes to like uh, when you're talking to like an officer or an NCO. It's just a lot of like basic stuff that you need to learn before you become like an actual officer. So that's basically what those classes consist of. And like army values and stuff like that, things that are important for us to know. Or after that class, I have another class, um, cognitive psychology, but I had an exam in class that day. So we kind of went into the class, had about like an hour and 45 minutes to take our exam and then we were able to leave. Um, between that class and my 1230 class, I, I would usually go to the gym. I'm a psych major and um, I'm not really sure. At first I kind of thought before I joined ROTC, I was like, oh, I want to become a psychologist, but I also wanted to like explore another avenue. So I'm not sure if I want to become an army psychologist, but that's still definitely a path that I'm willing to take because I really do enjoy like psychology and like really getting to like dig into people's minds. My 1230 class was developmental psychology and that's a lot of like um, like Piaget and Vygotsky, just a lot of like uh, childhood cognitive like development and stuff like that. Um, it's a really really interesting class, I really do like it. After my 1230 class I have a little bit of downtime before my um, lab at 330 so I'll either go home and I'll make myself some lunch or I'll like take a really quick nap. The lab is at, it starts at 330, we usually start forming up around 320 um, and it's at Nine Mile Prairie which is like 15 minutes off campus and that day we did a platoon raid so we had each of the three like the juniors will get a chance to be like platoon leader platoon sergeant things like that to like get in those leadership positions and get ready for camp so one of our threes was uh, the platoon leader and he kind of just led us through like um, we ran through a mission basically a raid of what it would look like at camp or what we would need to do at camp at the end of lab, once the mission is complete, they call an index, and that's basically where, okay, the mission's over, the cadre come, um, all of the juniors come, the op four who are seniors this year, they've already gone to camp, they're the ones who are pretending to be like the enemy, opposing forces is what op four. We would all collectively come together, talk about the mission itself, what went well, what didn't, we call it sustains and improves, um, things we could do better, things we thought went really well. So we'll talk about that and then we'll talk about lab overall, how it went, um, what we could do better. And especially at like be at the beginning of the lab, they'll usually have like a class on like, what is a raid or what is the mission that we're running? That way a lot of the freshmen and sophomore can like kind of get an understanding of this is what we're doing, this is why we're doing it, this is how you do it. And it's really, really helpful. So we'll talk about like, okay, do you think we should do this? Do you think we should keep doing this? And then after lab, we all just um, form, like we have a final formation. So it's not just one platoon, it's the, like it's both platoons and we just kind of talk about any announcements we have for the rest of the week or anything coming up um, and then they release us. After lab, it really depends. Sometimes I'll get some homework done, sometimes I'll go hang out with my friends, um, and then sometimes I'll go like on a run with a couple of my friends. It really depends on the day, but that day after lab, I went home and got, and got some homework done because it was a little bit of a busier day. Um, so that's typically what I do, but I also like to kind of mix it up to just kind of have some variation. Yeah, for but, sure. yeah. Mm -hmm.